Now to the other major story of this day, the crisis in the Senate. First, it was Mike Duffy, and now Pamela Wallen is leaving the Conservative caucus, she says, until the audit of her expenses is done. Also today, the Senate said it will reopen its review of Senator Duffy's expenses. All this while questions swirl about the actions of the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff. Senior correspondent Terry Malewski has the latest. Terry. Well, Wendy, the blood is in the water now. Another Conservative, Pam Wallen, is following Mike Duffy out of the Conservative caucus. This as the Senate and the opposition dig deeper into Duffy's expenses and a question hangs whether Nigel Wright can survive as the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff. <laughs> Pam Wallen is another Harper appointee who, like Duffy, was a fundraising star for the party. But an audit of her travel expenses may not be going well. Wallen says... She's recused herself from the Conservative caucus, although the party's Senate leader, Marjorie Le Breton, says Wallen has just plain resigned. All this after Mike Duffy quit the caucus yesterday, leaving the question of why the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright, picked up Duffy's $90,000 tab. It's just simply is unbelievable. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. It is unbelievable. Rob Walsh was a nonpartisan parliamentary law clerk for 12 years. He says Wright's huge gift to Mike Duffy is a huge problem. Is this the way the Prime Minister of Canada deals with the uh, with, uh, parliamentarians? By uh, solving their financial problems so as to keep them on side or something? Walsh says that even if Nigel Wright had the best intentions, the gift still violates ethics rules. This is a situation, in my view, which the integrity of our public institutions, particularly our parliamentary institutions, as well as the government of Canada, depend on a full and complete disclosure of what took place. Wright himself has said nothing publicly about this. When he was appointed, though, he said he was a stickler for legality. The first loyalty is to the law of the land. For the opposition, of course, Wright isn't the real target. His boss is. They say that by standing by Wright, Stephen Harper has tied himself to the Duffy bailout. It could indicate that the Prime Minister uh, had an inkling that this was going on, or more than an inkling. It could also mean that he's endorsing it after the fact. He's retroactively saying what was done was not wrong. This situation is so sort of unbelievable that I, I think they're in a real corner here. I don't, I don't know where they can, what they can pull out. A Harper spokesman, Andrew McDougall, says that Wright still has the Prime Minister's confidence, but he didn't answer the question how the PM could not have known about the payment or whether Wright had offered to resign. So we don't know yet whether we have two casualties or three. Wendy. Thanks, Terry. Terry Malewski tonight in Ottawa.